Welcome to Dog Man's Kitchen. We're back in the kitchen gonna whip up another, well, make it up as you go dish. Yeah. And we're gonna put as many glutens in there as we can and carbs. We're gonna make it fun, man. So stay tuned. I've got stuff laid out. Well, let's get busy. All right, we're gonna start off with these here potatoes. I got an onion couple of tomatoes let's get them off there and i'm just gonna start by dicing these dudes oh i forgot about i had this sharp knife now i gotta be careful we're just gonna cut them up pretty small then we're gonna fry them up but we're not gonna cook them all the way These are some good looking tomatoes. Get off there. I've got about a pound of ground meat cooking up over there in the skillet. You'll see that in a minute. Probably too many potatoes. Uh, I'll cut this one. We won't leave that one. All right, go away. You, you, you'll be in the next one. All right, come over here to the stove. Get this ground meat going. I forgot I got that one tool. So oh, well, I ain't gonna dirty it up right now. Got some olive oil heating up there. We're gonna throw these taters in. Alright. Let's take these on over there. I'm not gonna skip. Oh! There we go. Well, let me get another utensil. Alright, let's go chop up our own own. Let's see. Tell you what, sure is nice to have a good sharp knife now. And I wouldn't usually use a purple onion, but that's what I had left over from the steak dinner. Get on in there. Get in there. Mater. Wash her up. Oh well. Get a knife. Actually, I'm not going to put this in there yet. Alright. Okay, I'll come back when this stuff's done. Whoop, there went a castaway. And I don't want to cook the uh, potatoes all the way till they're soft. I want them to be a little firm. Because it's go out, oh, there goes another one down in between the stove. Now I gotta pull the stove out, get that thing out later, or we're gonna have smells, man. I don't want smells. And over here I got my get over here. Threw in some mushrooms in there that I had left of a can. I've got uh, some of my tomatoes in there. I didn't cook the tomatoes. I've just set them on top. This is 
burners off. I'm just gonna let them heat up. They're going in the oven too. And that'll be the next ingredients once that water gets to boiling. Yeah, this is gonna be a go or gag dish. And I will be honest and tell you if it's good. And I'll be honest and tell you if it sucks. But hey man, we might discover a new dish here. Oh yeah, look here guys, Kraft Deluxe Macaroni and Cheese, get on in there. Oh, we gotta have a side dish, right? I like Kraft Macaroni and Cheeses. Get them noodles in there. Now these are about where I need them. They're not real soggy, but you could add them. They're good enough to eat. I put in some Louisiana hot sauce, some jalapenos, onion hey i was gonna eat you don't you get off that pork before i tell you there oh yeah i'm right where i need them okay i'll come back when these noodles are done and then it's gonna get fun all right i believe the noodles are done you know i'm gonna tell you how to do that to check i'm gonna show you right now you just take a couple out like that bring it up blow on it Pop it in your gizzard. Mm hmm. They're done. All right. I'm going to turn that ball off or burner off. Come over here to the holy bowl. I like you, holy bowl. Make sure you see there's one in there. You don't want that, man. You want to use every one of them. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. I'm gonna rinse these off the cool water simply because I'm gonna be handling these and I don't wanna burn my butt. Or my hands, rather. Then I'm gonna pour them in this bowl. Again, make sure you get them all. Some of them will try to hide from you. You can't, it has to have exactly what was in the box, man. Minus the ones I ate. All right. Now I'm going to come over here, Rooster. You're coming in my kitchen. You can't come in my kitchen. I'm going to get this cast iron skillet condom. Goes right over there. See there? And I'm just going to pour all that up on up in there. Get it all. Or get all of it. Most of it. All right. I'm just going to kind of toss that around. Alright. Now! Taters, come here. Throw them in there. Throw them in there. All of it. There's nothing to eat, Rooster. Go on. Let's just mix it up. You're like, ew! He's putting taters in with, with macaronis. That's right, and it's going to get better, too. Now, does anybody's guess what's in this magic package here? I don't care. I like it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to squeeze it all out. Get it all out of there. You do that by rolling it up. Come on out, Bob. Now, this is better, I would imagine, better than what the powdered stuff is. Look at that. Every bit of it, man. Huh? I'm gonna gently get that mixed in there. Cheesy. I don't care who you are. If you don't like cheese, you're weird. You are weird. I ain't saying if you can't eat cheese, maybe, but you still like it, even if you, even if you're not allowed to eat it, you still like it. Look at that, look at that mixture. Mm. Tell you what, let's get more. Don't look in my fridge, guys. I'm gonna block you. This is where the rooster comes in. He's gonna hear me. Look at this triple cheddar. Let's throw that in there. Save enough for rooster. <laughs> rooster, I got you some. 
she knows the packaging but you're gonna get it in a minute let me put it aside for you gotta put a little aside for the rooster you just got to and all I've really put in here for spices is ground up some pepper uh, I did not put any garlic in it I think I'm gonna leave the garlic no let's put in some garlic salt and pepper garlic I like this stuff garlic and pepper Not too much. What else we got in here? Let's put in some of these red peppers. Now, I ain't never mixed nothing like this up, guys, so we will see. And I forgot to preheat the oven. All right, I'll be back when we get ready to stick her in the oven. Rooster Doodle's getting her cheese. Yep. That's good cheese. That dog's addicted to cheese. Of course, everything's addicted to cheese. And let's throw some green beans in there. They're like, ew! Ew! Throw some green beans in there! That's right. I was going to put a can of baked beans in there, but nah, we've already done a dish like that this week. Hey, man, you can't go wrong with green beans. All right. Kind of shimmy them in there. Got to shimmy them in there. Oh. Right. Hopefully it fits in this bowl. Get on in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't make it fit. Get it all. They will try to hide on you. Look at that. They was up there on the sides. Didn't think I'd see them there wrong. Now this could suck. It doesn't look very appetizing. I can tell you that right now. Kind of, ah, kind of poopy brownish. Look at that one trying to escape over there. And get in there. The oven is preheating, and we will throw this in. I'll come back when it comes out the oven. Well, I had to come back because you know what? It needs something. It needs something else. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Ketchup. You cannot go wrong with ketchup. Why, it's like a noodle potato meatloaf. Get in there on there and look at it. Mm. It still ain't right, man. Oh, come on, don't give me no little... There you go. <sighs> now, now I think we got her. Far out. All right, just come out of the oven. 45 minutes or so, it was in there at 100 or 375. I'm making up the dish so I can make up the temperature. All right. Look at that. Just, just kind of shimmy that all over there like that. Mix it in. And that way, by putting it on top, you don't get it all throughout it. Just kind of gives you the. Let's. I don't know what it gives you. Let's get some on a plate, man. Let me taste it, and we'll let y'all know what it's like. I'm confident. I'm gonna fill the plate up. I can tell you, it looks good. All right. Goodness, that looks good. All right, let's give her a taste. If it's bad, I'm gonna tell you. If it's good, I'm gonna tell you. Cause I don't want nobody wasting food if it sucks. Yeah, it's good. And as always, I'm gonna wash it down with ice cold milk. 
Ah, swigged right out of the daggum jug. Let's get a couple more bites just to make sure. Hmm. I probably would have left the mustard off. I'm getting a strong taste of mustard, but it's still good. Ketchup, I can taste the ketchup, it's good. I always put ketchup on my fried potatoes. It's good. I, I wouldn't, you know, invite a bunch of people over and cook it. But it's, it's actually, the more I'm tasting it, the more it's good. I'm getting down into the cheese. Mmm. I like it. It's good. Make it how you want, guys. Taters do go with mac and cheese. Mmm. Rooster, not for you. Mm-hmm. Alright guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trail.